Hi there, welcome you all for this demo session on GG Self-Service Password Reset. Password complexities are the very essential need for an organization to keep their user identities secure. With the complexities of the password and its periodic changes, users forget their password more often. This in turn increases the load of the administrators in addressing their password reset issues. GG Technologies provides a self-service tool to reset the user's password by themselves. Let's start the session. First I'm going to show you how to install the JSSPR in the domain. Double click the file downloaded from our website. Read this information and click next. Please read our license terms and conditions carefully. Here select the installation folder and click next. Confirm the installation. Now a new dialog box opens. Select domain name from the drop down. Then give user name and password. You can enter any domain admin user's account detail here. Now the JSSPR web configuration dialog box opens. Here you can either create the GG self-service to work as a virtual directory in a domain or you can create it as a website by giving the necessary details. We recommend virtual directory for a setup inside the organization. You can change the name of your virtual directory and click OK. With this, our installation is complete. Now go to All Programs and click GG Self-Service Web. Yes, this is our end user page. First the end user have to enroll themselves by entering their information secure to use this service. The informations listed here would be helpful in authenticating the user to reset their password by themselves. If the enrolled user forgot his password, the user can reset it by answering the secret questions as they entered before. Users can also change the password by knowing the old password. Locked out user can also unlock it by answering the secret questions. Admin can customize this user's page. To log on to admin page, Please click GG Self-Service Admin Item from Programs Start Menu. Enter the domain admin username and password. This is our admin home page to customize the settings in and as our page. Click Admin Link. First Administrator have to invite the users to enroll for this service. Click Invite Users and select the domain which you want. Now the unenrolled users list of that domain is displayed here. Select the listed users. Configure the mail details here. In configuration we can set language, subject, text and also can display the username by giving Active Directory attributes value. Here I just type the Active Directory attribute, SAM account name, to display the name of the user and click Notify. Now invite mail will be triggered to the list of selected users. The administrator can change the settings of self-service. Now click enable and disable features. By unchecking the features, admin can restrict the user from using that feature. Here I'm going to uncheck the enable change password. Go to user page and refresh it. Now. The feature change password is removed from the end user page. In question answer settings, admin can set the parameters like number of questions should end user answer and minimum answer length. Admin can also allow the user to enter the same answer for multiple question through the setting. Admin can provide access to the user to view the hidden texts by enabling this checkbox. Here I select number of questions to 2, minimum answer length to 3 and check the show hidden text option and save. Now in end users enroll page only two questions are asked. 
I try to type an answer of length 2. Here an error occurs stating minimum length should be 3. Also you can see show hidden text option appears in the user's enroll page. Admin can add new questions into the pool. Back to admin page select add view questions. I'm typing a question, what is your alias name? And adding it into the list by clicking add questions. Now see our new question is present in the enroll page of end user. Similarly, admin can remove the questions. Admin can import or export the questions into CSV files for later use. After you made change, don't forget to save. Other important settings is security settings. Using this settings admin can create a security standard for a domain. All these options are self-explanatory. Restore and backup is used to take the backup of enrollment data and restore it by specifying the path. Click language settings. Here we support six languages. Admin can enable multiple languages to leave the end users with many language options. By default the page is shown by browser language settings. In notification settings, admin can send the notification during password reset, password change, intimating the password expiration. And mail configuration option is given to each notification. Next we gonna see the display settings. An administrator can set their logo and the title to display on the end users page. Here I select an image as a logo and giving the title as GG Technologies. Now check the end user page. The logo and title are displayed. Similarly you can change your own title and logo. Administrators can go to the home page to view the status of the users in the domain. Enrolled and unenrolled users are listed in this administrator's home page. This would help them in tracking the status. Users' actions are logged here. Hence administrators can monitor the user's activities. These are all the features and support provided in the GG Self-Service Password Reset Tool. Please feel free to contact us at support at ggtechologies.com for your suggestions or requesting a new feature. Thanks for being with us in this session. Looking forward to serve you better. Thank you.